Hello, today I'll be going over the implementation to depth first search. Uh, if you haven't already, I recommend you watch the video I made on the concept so that uh, you have a better idea of what's going on here. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. So. Let me just initialize some things. I um, have like um, okay. and Okay, so let's just assume that we'll be given some sort of input. Um, let me actually establish that. So let's say um, the problem the problem is that we um, want to just simulate how um, DFS searches a graph. So um, we'll have like some input and then our output will be basically like the path DFS takes. So for example, if we have um, n vertices um, and edges and yeah, the starting point, uh, which we'll just call V um, and our input will look like, let's just say it's four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, one. Okay, let's actually just write it some else. Copy it here. So, so the input we have here is that um, we have n vertices, so four vertices m edges or five edges, and then one starting point v. And we're given that, uh, let's just say, one node one is connected to node two, node one is also connected to node three, node one is connected to node four, node two is connected to node four, and node three is connected to node four. And we're starting at, um, yeah, let's just say we start at node one. So, First things first, we just want to take the input for the problem. So, uh, um, so. so basically what we're going to do is that we need to keep track of how each um, node is connected to each other. And the way we're going to do that is using this um, vector of arrays in which we basically, I'll just write it out first and then show you guys. So we can do CN and then FX. So what we're doing here is we're basically saying that for um, the array at index x, we're keeping track of all the vertices or all the nodes connected to um, the node x. So we're given x is connected to y. So at index x, we push in the value y. And we do the same for y and x because they're connected. Um, and so if you can kind of like visualize it, we're gonna get something where it's like at index zero or at index one, we'll have like, in this quite case, we'll have like two, three, four. Uh, at index two, we'll have one and four. At index three, we'll have one and four. Next four, we'll have one, uh, two and three. 
And this is because like we're given here one is connected to two, three, four, two is connected to one and four, and then three is connected to one and four, and then four is connected to all of them. And basically we're using the indices um, of the vector to kind of uh, use that as the node we're looking at, if that makes sense. So at index one, we're looking at node one, and all of these are connected to node one. Okay, so um, without uh, with that out of the way, we'll actually just sort And we're just gonna sort it so that, um, like, no matter the input, like right here, we're given this in order. But um, if it's not in order, let's just keep it in order so the input is nice. Okay. So that other way, we'll just get started with the DFS implementation. So first things first, we'll have in the parameter we'll have the current node we're looking at. So we'll call that int. Um, Put into A, and then we'll what we have to do is we have this visited array boolean array, and what this is is basically keeps track of which nodes we visited. And like I mentioned in the previous videos, it's really important that we do this so that we don't run into any infinite loops. So we're going to set visited of A equal to true, and then. Um, we have all the connected comp uh, connected nodes of A stored in this vector at index A. So we're going to do a for loop int i equals 0 is less than uh, vec A. Okay. Um, so now we're just going to loop through all of the connected nodes. Um, but as kind of like a condition, what we have to do is check if visited of yeah, visited of deck of a uh, and C not. And so what we're doing here is, um, like I said before, visited keeps visited keeps track of if we've traverse this node or not. And right here, um, we're iterating through um, the vector. Actually, just to make this simpler, I'll use an enhanced for uh, And this will make it a lot simpler. So basically what's going on here is I uh, represents the node we're currently iterating on in um, vector A's um, connected nodes. And then we're checking if we've already visited this node that we might consider recursing on. And if so, um, what's called DFS on this node. Or actually, it would just be I. So to kind of reiterate what I just did here is starting with whatever node we're on, we're going to set it equal to true. So we visited this node, and then we'll loop through all the nodes that's connected to this node, check if we visited um, the connected node or not. And if, we're, if we've never visited it, then we'll call DFS. And then we'll go back here again, check if it's visited. I mean, sorry, set the visit equal to true so we don't um, go back to it again, and so on. Um, and yeah, so just to show the process, I'll actually just print it out right here. Okay, just set the I. And then, Okay, um, 
we could actually put this here. Okay, so I'll just run this really quickly with this input. Okay, so um, let's see, let me try walking through this. Okay, so what happens here is that we start at node one. Uh, we can actually put the space behind that. Um, we start at node one, which is our starting point. We gave it in V. So we start at node one. Uh, we print it out. As you can see, you can see the space in front of it. And then we set visited of one equals to true so that we don't visit one again. And then we iterate through every connected component in one, which are two, three, and four. And we check if two is visited, and clearly we haven't been there yet, so two is not visited, then we call DFS on two. And then we go to two, we print out two right here, and then we set it equal to true so we don't visit it again. We loop through everything that is connected to two. And we can see here's one and four. So first is one because we sorted it down here. But since we're only checking visited and we already set visited of one to equal to true, we ignore that. Then we go to four and it matches the condition because we haven't visited four yet. And then we call it DFS of four. And so we come here, then four is going to be printed out. We see four here and then we set four equal to true. And then we loop through what four is connected to, which are one, two, and three, but one and two we've already visited, so it's not going to fit that condition if statement. And then it's going to go to three, it will um, call DFS on three, and then print out three. And then once we get a three, uh, none of the conditions meet, so then the DFS just terminates there. And yeah, that's basically it for. Um, DFS, this is how it's, this is a very simple implementation for every problem. It might be slightly different and there are much more faster, efficient, shorter ways of implementing this. But yeah, this is just a, a very basic implementation of depth thrift search. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.